Hi, oh, silver away, people. It's me, John Avenger. I'm back, and I'm going to do another DVD update, a small one, before I go shopping on Black Friday in a couple of days, because Black Friday is in the 29th. That's next Friday, so I'm going to show these DVDs I got in October. First, I'm going to start off with a remake that I really did enjoy. It's a remake of a 50s film that I watched as a kid that I do like the original, and uh, this is the 80s version of The Fly. David Cronenberg's is The Fly. Be afraid, be very afraid. I don't think the movie was scary, but the movie was very well acted, very well written, and it was a decent remake to the original. Jeff Goldblum did a good job in the role. The visual effects were really good. The score was really good. The love story, it works in this movie. Um, it definitely is a better, um, it's a different take on the original film. I respect this film. I, I'm glad I got the two disc special edition. Five bucks. Can't beat that. Next, I got the very first in this franchise, which should have ended after the return. I know um, there's a lot of people that probably disagree with me of saying, oh, but the recent films have been gritty and edgy. Now, bullshit. Those films did not need to exist. This is the original, the one and only Universal Soldier with Van Damme and Dolph Lundgren, the special edition. I also got this for five bucks. I live in a lot of in an area where there's a lot of DVDs on, you know, for very low prices and um, I, I had to get this, uh, you know, it's one of the best uh, sci-fi action films after Terminator 2. Awesome movie. Lots of features. Worth it. Next, I got this Bruce Willis film. I know he's off his rocker now, but this is a film, a thriller that he did that was really, really awesome. Really got me, my, uh, I was really, you know, in, it was intense. It made my blood uh, flow really fast. My heart was beating really fast. And it's the movie... Hostage. This movie is awesome. I thought this movie was really, really good. Uh, ben Foster was a creepy man, uh, douchebag. It says Die Hard meets Panic Room. I agree. I haven't seen Panic Room, but I definitely want to see after seeing this thriller. This film thrilled me in a way that a lot of thrillers today couldn't throw me. No shaky cam, a lot of gore. Uh, Bruce Willis's acting was really good. Ben Foster was good. Um, the kids in the film were good. You know, the little boy was really good. Um... Kevin Pollack was good in the film. Just overall a really standout movie. Five bucks. I couldn't beat that. Now I got the, the first two installments of this horror franchise. And I think it should have ended after two. There's no way that the, you know, the three, four, and five are going to be as good. But I did enjoy these. And I'm going to show them at the same time. So I don't have to waste time. Wrong Turn 1 and Wrong Turn 2 Dead End. These movies are awesome. Th this one is the superior one because you got Elisha Dushku is gorgeous. Uh, you have uh, Emmanuel Shriki. You have uh, Jeremy Sisto. And uh, Desmond Harrington, who's really good in this film. He really gets strong. And you see them getting away from these mutants. The mutants look awesome. The makeup effects are really good. Um, it's a 10-year-old horror film that still works. It can beat the crap out of any horror film now, like Sinister or Insidious or 2 or something like that. This is how you do it. Really fun movie, and I'm glad I got it in my collection. And this is a sequel. While it's low budget, I think the movie is done very well. I think the makeup effects are really good. Henry Rollins and the lead blonde chick are really good. The kills are awesome. There's things that happen that you don't expect. It's a better than average um, sequel, considering that they made like three after this that did not need to be exist. But this one's a good one. I would recommend the second wrong turn after the first one. It won't disappoint you. Just look at it as a standalone sequel, you know, it doesn't really connect to the first film, but it is a wrong turn film, and it rocked, and I saw it on cable last year, and I wanted to get it, and I finally got it, so, there. So that's my DVD update for the month of November, and I will talk to you guys later. See ya.